Hello everyone. Uh, today in this video, we'll see how to run uh, Selenium cases in Linux boxes or Linux servers uh, and Chrome browser uh, that do it headless mode. When it comes to the Linux, you will see different versions, variations. So you will get different use cases. In this video, I'll, I am executing the cases in Oracle Linux 7.6. That to uh, my version, and I'll sh uh, I expect that uh, you already set up a uh, Jenkins servers in Linux and you have a Maven project uh, which has a Selenium case. And then I just show you what are the uh, changes that you have to make uh, in order to run in the Linux server. Uh, when it comes to the code side, uh, you need a few changes to be done. I'm just showing one example here. Uh, if you want to run it on headless mode, you need to create the object of Chrome options and set headless equals to true. That is one step. And then while creating the object of Chrome driver, you have to pass this Chrome options. And the second thing you have to do is webdriver.chrome.driver is the, because you run it on Chrome. If you run it on Firefox, then it will be gecko, uh, dot driver and then uh, file will be chrome driver so you can place it this file anywhere uh, in this example i was keeping it in my uh, drivers uh, linux and then chrome driver so src test resources drivers linux chrome driver okay so actually you need to change the permissions for this file uh, in linux maybe give it triple seven so that then only it will execute okay and uh, you launch any application and it will run okay so this is uh, changes that you have to do it from the code side and uh, let's say uh, you can download uh, your chrome driver from here so if it is linux you have to download this linux 64 chip okay that is the one and assume that this is your uh, jenkins server where uh, you have to configure uh, your git repository okay and uh, then you have yeah what i've done here is i am changing the permissions because like whenever i download from whenever i clone this file will come in fresh and the permissions will be is not sufficient to execute so I kept it in SRC test resources, drivers, Linux, and Chrome driver. So this is Jenkins variable dot uh, dollar workspace. It it kind of gives you the relative path, okay? And uh, uh, this you don't need, okay? And Maven clean test will run your test cases. So I would not do any change, uh, adding any configurations here. I'm just leaving it as it is, okay? Uh, the important thing is when you run first time, uh, if your uh, application or system is under proxy, uh, you, it'll, it will not download the files. So you have to add the settings.xml with proper proxies, okay? And uh, in this example, uh, it's after adding the proxy, you can see uh, related files is downloaded but uh, what you can see here is uh, there is a file that is not available so uh, generally what we do is we configure uh, form.xml okay form.xml to trigger a corresponding file so the regression.xml is the file that i'm triggering so where you configure in maven surefire plugin Okay, so it's available in test config regression.xml. So this is my project specific changes. Okay, uh, what you need to do is like where whatever the test engine.xml, you have to configure correct classes to uh, trigger. So you can uh, do that uh, and then make the changes and push the code and then trigger that again. Okay. Okay, now you make changes and then execute it again. Now you see uh, this has been executed, test has been triggered, 
and when it the test has been triggered what happened is there is a failure okay so the driver is not executable okay so when the driver is not executable that means uh, you did not add uh, this line okay that means you did not give the permissions if you have added this uh, statement then you don't get that error okay so i have added that error and then i have executed it again so now uh, it has been triggered failed got failed and now what is the error that i got here is mm, like uh, i'm just reading this is cannot find chrome binary so when you see this error that means this chrome is not installed in your linux machine so at that point of time what you need to do is you need to install the chrome uh, okay so in order to install the chrome uh, what you have to do is you have to follow uh, these few configurations one uh, run this command which changes which allows us to install uh, related uh, binaries or uh, software and then you can download latest google chrome and then this is a related uh, server that we have to install and then you can run this command and you can install your uh, google chrome okay so uh, once you install so once you install google chrome and uh, also after that uh, you, what you need to do is you need to install this xvfd which allows us to uh, launch the google chrome uh, without you even if you don't have the desktop or uh, uh, gui for your server it allows the for chrome to launch the browser okay so you have to install this xvfp also after that you need to run one small command so you can run this command which will start a screen with this resolution and explode it export this display to 99 so once you do that you have the ability to take the screenshots also okay now uh, this is the settings that you have to do uh, before running your automation okay so once you install you cannot see this error cannot find google uh, chrome binary and now uh, after that you can execute and see that uh, you can see chrome failed to start crashed that means uh, you have executed Google Chrome, but not in the headless mode. Okay, if you don't add this particular piece of code, okay, set headless equals to true, then you will get this Chrome fail to start crashed. Okay, so uh, you have to make sure that this code is uh, added. So once you add that, if you run your code again, so your test cases will be executed and uh, it has been like Chrome driver started successfully. The execution started and the completed. So this is the screenshot it took uh, for this execution and it was uh, build is success. To make sure that this test case is executed. So what I do is like uh, I'll go to the workspace here in the reports in the latest and you can see this file. So like I just take the screenshot and add it into that uh, folder. So in your case, if you write the code to take the screenshot, it will take. So that means the case has been executed. Okay. So yeah, this is the settings that you have to do. I'll add all these commands into uh, the description box. Okay. And you can find it there. I'll try to add another video which uh, runs with the browser and we'll see it next. If you have any questions, add in the comments. I'll try to answer uh, whenever I get the time.
Thank you.